are playing with my husband outside, so they're not going to bother us today. Okay, so right now, find yourself a little bit of space. We're going to go ahead and start warming up. What makes this class really awesome is some music. So go ahead and put on some music. Just make sure you're on mute. I'm going to go ahead and leave the music off so that I don't have to work on pairing it later and you can just hear me well during the class. So right now, I'm going to go ahead and push my shoulders back and down. I'm going to start up top. I'm moving out my legs. I'm moving out my neck and shoulder line, getting in some deep breaths. And this is our cardio kickboxing day. So again, all we need is a little bit of space and a water bottle. I'm going to go ahead and tighten up in my core. I'm going to keep my neck long and I'm going to start doing my big reach up. Now with my big reach up, I'm trying to get my arms straight overhead. I'm not going out in front, I'm trying to get that bicep as close to the ear as possible. Continue to breathe. Awesome. So now I'm going to go ahead and keep like a wider step and I pivot and I go one arm up and over the body. And a little bit of a tilt onto the hip. I get that stretch in the opposite side hip. Good breathing. Excellent job. Great. Now I'm going to go ahead and take it to lifting up the knees. So I'm going to tighten up in the abdomen. I'm going to pop my knees up. When my knees come up, I'm starting to loosen up my hip flexors. Good breathing. Excellent job. And this one can be taken a little slower and you can like hug it in. Whatever you like. And in four, three, two, and one, my chest stays up, my feet are hip width apart, and I'm gonna go into a squat. So doing my squats, my chest stays up, I drive the butt back and down, warm up the legs, and I'm also getting that stretch on that backside. When I lower down, I feel my glute stretch. Good. So nice deep breathing. Excellent job. And in four, three, two, and one. I'm gonna go ahead and move into modified or regular jumping jacks. Get that heart rate up a bit, breathe. And in 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Wide step, kick it back. I'm gonna also do this arm motion of like a row. When the arm pulls back, you that stretch for the chest, warming up that back. Good breathing. Keep that going. Knee points down, heel all the way up to the glute if you can. And once in a while I do a louder breath and that's kind of just to remind you, keep that breathing going. Sometimes we get lost in trying to keep up with the directions. Make sure the breathing is first. Fantastic. Core tight, reach across. If you get dizzy, you're just going to look forward and move the arms. If you're okay, go ahead and add that twist, warming up that core, stretching it out, stretching out the back side of the arm, and breathe. Good. Keep that going. And in four, three, two, and one. Abs tight, kick out. So it's kind of a little bit of hip flexor and then hamstring as well. So when I do the kick out, it's not my power kick that we're gonna get into when we teach the class. It's more of an extension and a stretch out for the back of the leg. And we keep that going. Excellent job. Core stays tight. Good. And in four, three, two, and one. Chest up. I'm going to squat down. And if you can, you pop up on your toes. If you're not comfortable with that, you can use a countertop, the back of a chair, to kind of help out with your balance. Or just stay flat foot and do squats. One more. 
modify or regular jumping jacks out. Get that heart rate up. Let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Hip flexor. I'm going to brace myself for my balance. And I'm going for range of motion. I lift that leg, circle it out. Lift the leg, circle it out. Okay, so now I'm going to start with the leg wide and I circle it back in. Bring that leg wide, circle it in, stretch out that leg. And I'm going to go do one more on each side. Get that last one in. Core tight. Swing kicks. I put my hands out for a couple reasons. Help with balance and give me markers where to put my feet. Good breathing. Good. Kicking it side to side. Excellent. This feels like a good stretch. I'm going to get a few extra in. Good breathing. And good. I'm going to do hands on the hips and I'm going to draw circles. So if you can join me, go ahead and draw some circles for your back. Good. Go ahead and switch. Awesome. Okay, so I'm going to pick a couple stagnant stretches to do. You can choose other ones. I'm going to choose ones that places that get tight when we sit a lot. So right now, I'm going to go stretch up the back of the leg. I do not walk out the knee, pop that toe up, and I reach on down. The other knee is bent. Continue to breathe. Nice deep breaths. Slowly bring yourself up and switch the sides. Good breathing. Slowly up. Back leg, back hip flexor becomes the focus. I'm going to take a step forward. It's like a lunge. Now I'm going to drive my knee forward. And as I do so, my hip flexor also drives forward. I want to keep the back heel on the ground. Try to keep that back leg on the ground. Get some hip flexors drawn forward. The same leg that's back, side arm can come up. And do a little bit of a push back, a little bit of reaching up to continue the stretch up to the abdomen. You don't have to do the arm thing. You can if you want. Work your breathing. Nice deep breaths and good. So then we switch sides. We have our hip flex to the other side. We take a big step forward. Try and keep that back heel down. Drive the hip flexor forward. Arm can come up and we continue deep breathing. And great. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and get right into a boxer shuffle. Good, I favored a little bit, if you could see, my right side, it's your right side, facing forward. Okay, so I'm giving your image today. We're doing right side forward a bit. Excellent job, I got my boxer shuffle going. I got my quick feet going. If there's something wrong with the ankle or calf today, I would take this to a march or I can kind of just shift my body weight, okay? But if you can, we're doing cardio style. We're light on the toes. We bounce back and forth. Now with our hands, we make fists, and I'm gonna put them up near the cheekbones and kind of protect my face. Good. Keep the core tight. And with punching, a lot of it's gonna come from our body, okay? It's not just the arm. So we need to involve our body into this. I'm gonna do a quick little jab, and my jab has a little step away. Step away, draw back in. And I want that retraction to be fast. 
because we don't have bags in this class, your retraction is pretty important. We're going to build muscle on our speed and our speed on the retraction. Okay. Good breath. Good. Sometimes I kind of like cueing the breath with the punch because it forces me to kind of tighten up in the core. Keep that going. Five, four, three, two, one. Forward to side. Forward to side. Forward, side. Forward, side. Forward, side. Forward, side. Forward, side. Keep it up. Good. Five, four, three, two. Good. I'm going to kind of keep light in my feet. I'm not jumping anymore. I'm just kind of shifting the body weight. Good, core tight, core tight. I'm gonna do these little body shots, okay? So I got a body in front of me, and I'm gonna aim. Good. My fists are aiming towards my body, if you could see. My elbows are bent. I'm not in the most beautiful posture, but this is more of a kickboxing stance. But if you have neck and shoulder problems, I do recommend holding upright a little bit more. Yeah, you look a little goofy, but it's not gonna hurt your neck and shoulder. But if you can, let's go body, body, shot. Come on, let's go. Punch, 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 punch. Good. Keep it up. Keep it up. Fantastic. Good. Now we're gonna put this into a combo. We're gonna go ahead and do body shots for, let's go ahead and do, um, let's do two. And then we will move into doing an elbow for two. So if you have shoulder problems, go ahead and stretch that out because it's coming. So just kind of morph this in a circle. And then after we get in two body shots, two elbows on the back arm, we're gonna do a kick. And I'm gonna go front kick up, and I'm gonna go ahead, I need to use my hip flexor, so I'm gonna stabilize the back leg, core tight, kick through, push kick, and then I'm gonna drop down, duck. Okay, we'll do that, we'll do two, two, two. So let's go ahead and take it slow. Body, elbow, push, kick, drop. Push, kick, drop. Body, elbow, push, kick, drop. Push, kick, drop. Body, elbow, push, kick, ha, drop, ha, drop. Body, elbow, push, kick, ha, drop. Drop, body, elbow, push kick, ha, drop, ha, 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 drop, body, elbow, Push kick, stay here, stay here. Ha! Drop it. Ha! Drop it. Ha! Drop it. Ha! Come on, let's go. Push. 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 Give me some good breathing. Keep that core tight. Let's go, let's go. Hit five. We're gonna stay low in our lunge. Stay low, stay low. Get low. Pop that knee. Hup now, hup now, hup now. Pull it, pull it. Body weight's this front leg, okay? It's held right here like you're holding a squat. That back leg now, come on. Pop it. Hup now, hup now, hup now. Tire out that leg and thigh. Push it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One, fast feet, punch out. Fast feet, punch out. Grab your breath, you need to recover here. If this isn't much of a recovery for you, I recommend walking it out instead, okay? So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go four, three, two, one, switch, four, three, two, one, switch. Now if you don't like that, you go four, three, two, one, leg facing forward, Swivel, four, three, two, one, swivel, okay? Here we go, four, three, two, one, 
switch. Four, three, two, one. 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 Four, three, two, and one. Stay here. Now I'm right at that point. I got to break for water. So before we get to the next set, grab water and then immediately move into like an active recovery to recover the breathing as the water gets down. And then we're going to go again. Okay. Water, recover, and let's go. So grab my water, letting the water get down. And I'm kind of moving still because I want to keep everything warm. So this is an active recovery. Come move on my legs. I do a little kick out, letting the water get down. I'll go a few more seconds here. Really important, you recover your breathing. Okay, use this time to recover breath. So maybe for you, three uh, deep breaths in and out consecutively. That means you're ready to move on, ready to have a conversation. Whatever you need to do, take as long as you need, okay? Okay, I'm gonna get ready in four, three, two, one, hands up and guard. I'm in my boxer shuffle, but if you need a longer recovery, you take it, or you can march out to continue recovery. Got it? Good. My hands again, in guard, guard my face. Core tight. And again, I'm gonna do that little step away, and with it, it's that back off punch. If you didn't catch it, we did switch sides, okay? Left side forward. Jab it, left side, come on. Jab. Now remember, the retraction is important. Don't leave your arm out there. Bring it back fast. Bring it back, bring it back. Breath, come on. I like to keep breathing, so I'm having a little bit of a tight ab, so I go tight ab, breath out. Good. Fantastic. And in eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. I go forward to side, forward to side, forward to side. Move those legs, get them going. Come on, fast feet, move it, fast arm. Don't leave your arm. Don't leave it out there, you're ever tracked it fast. Work that shoulder, work that tricep. Work it good. Hit about the nose height, okay? You're lucky today, your opponent's your height. Hit the nose, 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 nose. <clears throat> Three, two, one. I'm gonna bring down the feet. I'm gonna bring down the feet. I'm kind of just shifting the body weight now. Holding my hands up in guard. I have a boxer stance. I wouldn't do this if I have neck shoulder problems. I would hold my body more upright, keep the core tight and go body shot this way. But if you're all right, you could continue that boxer stance. Core tight, body shot, body shot, come on. Pop it, pop, pop. We're going for fast arms here, and I want it to come from your core. The speed and the power comes from your core. So feel this now, side obliques. Fast, fast, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Fantastic. Keep that going. Feel that core. Recover your breath a bit. Good, we're getting ready to go into a combo. We're getting ready to go into a combo. In eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, body shot two. Now here's the deal. It may take a while for you to get the combo, so feel free to stay here as long as you need, okay? So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go ahead and go body shot two, one, two, and then if you need to loosen up your arm, you feel free to do this a few times, just kind of loosen it up. And then I'm gonna go ahead and go elbow, elbow, and see how I do move my body into it. I wanna rotate, uh, pivot that back toe, move that hip, put that body into it. So I go two elbows. After I get my two elbows down, my lead leg is gonna do a front kick. Front kick, duck it, front kick, duck it. Let's go slow. Body, elbow, front, dip, 
front dip. Body, elbow, up, dip, up, dip. Body, elbow, front kick, duck, front kick, duck. Body, elbow, I'm gonna pick up the pace now. Are you ready to pick it up? Feel free to join me. Body, elbow, kick, hop, down, hop, down, body, elbow, kick, hop, <clears throat> up, body, elbow, kick, hop, down, hop, down, body, elbow, kick, up, down, hop, down, body, elbow, kick, hop, 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 down, hop, one more, one more, body, elbow, kick it, stay at the kicks, up to duck it. Now, if you got that range in you, if you have that cardio in you, if your low back's healthy and well, get all the way to the ground, and you're gonna do like a gallop back. It's almost like a jump. Ready? Down, 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 Woo. good. Keep that going. Strong thigh, and then head. There's no arch in my low back. There's no rounding on my low back. And then I'm gonna pull that knee fast. Come on, pop it, pick it up, pick it up. Good, tire it out, tire it out. Whew. Let's go, faster, faster. Come on, Hut. set, six, five, four, three, two, quick feet and punch. Now this is a recovery. So if you need more of a recovery, take it slow. Walk it out. But if you got it today, you're gonna do these Punch out. You're gonna go fast leg. If you really want to work the legs, you get a little bit lower in your squat. Do what you can do. Let's go. Woo. Good. Good punching. Good moving. Good breathing. Fantastic job. Keep it up. Keep it up. Good. Now you need to be recovered in breath before moving to the next one. Remember, we're doing that quick change. So, but we're gonna hold at the quick change. I'm not actually gonna come back. So I'm gonna go punch out, four, three, two, one. Other side, punch out, four, three, two, one. But if you don't like it, front leg can swing instead of a jump. You never have to jump. If you're ready, feel free to join me. Four, three, two, one. 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 I'm gonna hang out here, I'm gonna hang out here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take it to like a little um, bob and weave. Let me show you a little bit more facing my body. It's coming from my core. I got one hand kind of guarding my face, one hand guarding my body. And I'm gonna duck it down. If you got that leg strength, you go a little bit wide the legs. No tip in the back, we can tip in the hip. And I'm gonna go ahead, duck it, duck it, duck it, duck it. Bob and weave, bob and weave. And this comes from my core. Tight abs, extension from the core. When you can recover your breath, put your mind to your muscle, it's at your abdomen muscle now, okay? And again, when we extend, it's coming from the core. Extend, extend, strong core. Whew. Good breathing. Excellent job. Keep that going. Looking good now. <clears throat> okay, so I'm ready to move on. I've recovered breath. If you need a longer time, take as long as you need. I'm gonna go into runner feet, 
feel free if you got that cardio endurance in you. Get those knees up higher. Move it a little faster. Okay. So right now, I'm going to go high punch, and I'm going to go nose punch, okay? And I'm going to tire out that arm a bit. Okay, the other arm doesn't get too much of a break. I don't get to just set it down. I'm going to hold it in guard, okay? Ha, low, ha, low. And my low is nose height. It's not too low. Good. So I keep this going, and this is to work that upper back, shoulder, tricep with that cardio. And again, your feet can move faster. Your knees can get higher. Move it out, do the best you can. Let's go, let's go. High, low, high, low. Good, this should be your right arm. If you're my mirror image, it's your right arm. If not, remember that, so when you switch sides, okay? Cool, and in eight, seven, six, five, four. Now, if you have a little bit of space, we're gonna use it. We're gonna go ahead and just go quick feet and we're gonna slip forward for about three steps and then back. Three, two, one, back. Three, two, one, forward. Three, two, one, back. Three, two, one, forward. Three, two, one, back. And three, two, one, forward. Three, two, one, back. And three, two, one, forward. Three, two, one, back. And three, two, one, forward, three, two, one, back and three, two, one, three, two, one, three, two, and one. Good job. Okay. I just want you to kind of recover for a second. Let that arm down, shake it out if you need to. This one's not too hard of a combo. We're going to go ahead and go step, jab it, and then I want a really awesome punch. So we're gonna go ahead and rotate that back toe, move that hip, awesome looking punch. And then I'm gonna just slip down and step it on back. So jab, punch, duck it back. Jab, punch, down. 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 Jab, punch 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 down. And jab, punch down. Fantastic job. Shake it out. Feel free to stay here as long as you need, okay? Feel free to stay in the box to shuffle as long as you need until you kind of get what's going on next. <clears throat> okay, so right now, I'm gonna go ahead, right leg, should be your right leg, is gonna go forward kick. So we need to use the hip flexor for two. And then I'm gonna pop into a squat. Now you never have to jump. You could do a step squat for two, or you could go into a jump squat for two. After we get in our two squats, I'm gonna go ahead and go into a um, back kick. And I'm gonna go ahead and do back, back okay so forward kick right leg squat two your choice back kick alternate legs two okay take it slow with me ready one two one two stay low push back ready again one two one two one two one two one, two, one. Two, one, 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 two, Two, one, one more time. Front kick, squat, back kick. Fantastic. Okay, so remember where we were with that jump one? You never have to jump. It wouldn't be for you. It's just like a step down, step down. Or maybe you can go jump, jump, jump. And I'm not getting as low. Whew. Mm -hmm. 
and then 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Fantastic job. Whew. Okay, so now I'm facing you. I'm going to go high punch, squat, low punch, high punch, low punch. And I'm going slow, but you know I'm going to pick up the pace. So if you want to race, get ready. Let's go. High, low, high, low. My back stays straight. My core is tight. Punch it out. High, low. Ready? I'm going to flex up my wrist. No flimsy wrist. Other hand is in guard. High, low. Come on. Push it. Watch me. How fast can you go? Go faster. Let's do this. Push it. Woo. And then five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. I'm going to shake it out for a second. Shake it out. Breathe. This is your recovery. So if you need to walk it, go for it. Good. Excellent job. Okay, so now we're going to kind of keep with squatting stuff. We're going to go ahead and go to a um, punch knee squat. Punch knee squat. Punch it. Knee up. 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 Squat. Okay, so I'm just going to go punch, knee, punch, knee, punch, knee, punch. And I'm getting this nice cross movement with the abdomen. So that's what we're going for. We're going to get like that rotation. Keep your core tight. Ready? Punch, knee, punch, knee, punch, knee, punch, knee, punch. We're going to go knee only. And I'm going to start adding in a pop. Meaning I'm going to get off the ground. Ready? Knee only. Knee up, knee up. I'm going to jump it now. You don't have to. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, quick feet. You got to recover breath a bit here, okay? So maybe it's a march out. Maybe it's a walk out. But you got a little cardio left, and you recover right here. Work the breathing as you do this, okay? Excellent job. Good. Now remember what we did before? If you're ready to move to it, you can. If not, stay here. We're going to go four, three, two, one. Switch to the other side, punch it out, four, three, two, one, switch back. Ready? Four, three, two, one, jump it. 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 One more. Four, three, two, one. I'm going to come to this side. And I'm going to actually break you for some water, okay? I want to break you. We're going to break for some water, okay? Take your time. Grab water. Come back with that left side facing forward. In my water, I let the water get down and I'm recovering. Take as long as you need to recover. I'm in no rush. I'm gonna start moving out my legs though, okay? So I'm getting a little quad stretch on this one. If I did a kick out, I'd get a hamstring stretch. If I did knees up, I'd get a hip flexor. You do what you need to do. Working my breathing, stretching out. Letting you guys recover. <clears throat> okay, so I'm gonna start moving into the next one, but if you need a longer recovery time, take as long as you need. I'm gonna go high knees, but again, it can be like slow, it can be more of a march, but if you can. We go jogger or runner feet. If you want to get those knees up higher, you can challenge yourself. I'm going to put my hands in guard. I'm going to move my left arm. It's your left arm, actually, to go high punch, 
nose punch, okay? I don't want to move that out fast. I want to tire out that arm. I'm going to work that tricep, work that upper back, work that shoulder. Good. High nose, high nose, high nose. Get those runner feet going. Move them out. And this is kind of where if you have a lot of endurance left in you, this is the kind of stuff where you need to push yourself, okay? If this needs to be used as recovery, then you can take it more mellow like I'm taking it, okay? But again, if you got a lot left in it, your body, you gotta pick those knees up, you gotta move those feet fast, and we move it out. Good, I'm gonna tire out that arm. I'm gonna try and keep my elbow up. It's starting to get fatigued, but I'm not gonna let it drop. I'm gonna keep that elbow up. Okay, I need a little space because I'm going forward for three. If I keep, you could do it, join me. Three, two, one, bring it back in. Three, two, one, bring it forward. Three, two, one, bring it back in. Three, two, one, bring it back in. Three, two, one, bring it back in. Three, two, one, forward. Three, two, one, three, two, one, three, two. Oh, my arm's tired. Let's bring it back. Bring it back. Bring it back. Good. Okay. Shift the body weight. Good job. Okay. First one's easy. Easy combo. Easy combo. We're going to go step, jab, rotate, punch, duck it back, back, stay straight. Jab, punch, under. Jab, punch, under. Jab, punch, down. Jab, punch, down. Jab, punch, down. Jab, punch, down. Jet punch down, 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 jet punch one more, one more, jet punch it down. Good. Okay. Now this one is a little tricky. Feel free to say it like a bob and weave until you get the hang of it. Okay. Take my lead leg, which is going to be your left, and we're going to go front kick. We're going to use our hip flexor. Front kick for two, okay? So we go one, two. Then after that, I'm going to go into a squat. Your squats could be a step out squat, or it could be a jump squat for two. After that, I'm going to hold for my squat, this, um, this squat position. I'm going to keep it a little hip tilt, and I'm going to brace through my back, my glutes, hold here, and I go push kick back, push kick back. So we start with push kick forward on the same leg, and then we're doing an alternating push kick to back. Okay? I'm going to go slow with you, and I'll pick up the pace. Feel free to go whatever pace you want. Hup, hup, squat, squat, back, back, hup, hup, squat, squat, back, back, alternate arms. Punch, knee, squat, punch, knee, squat, punch, 
knee, squat, punch, knee, squat, punch, knee, squat, punch, knee, squat, punch, knee, squat, punch, knee, squat, punch, knee, squat, punch, knee, squat, punch it, squat, okay, ready, we go punch knee, punch, knee, and I like it because we have this transverse movement moving through the abdomen, and we're gonna try and go fast with that and work the core, ready, punch it, knee up, 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 whoo, keep it up, keep it going, Staying strong. In five, four, three, two. Okay, knee up only, knee up. And I like to pulling my arms diagonal to it and then bringing them in and getting a breath out and doing like a tight abs, okay? I'm gonna make it a jump, you don't have to. So, six, five, four, three, two, one. Fast feet. This is your recovery. This is your recovery. So maybe it's a walkout. Maybe you're moving mellow like me. Maybe you got something left in the tank. You're trying to prove something today. You are growing stronger. So you want to move fast. Do it. Go for it. Let's go. Okay, we forgot one on this side. So we're going to get it in before we transition to the other side. But I'm going to let you recover your breath. So give me eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. High punch. This isn't that bad. It's not that bad. It's a little one we forgot. High punch, low punch. But I'm going to pick up the pace and we're going to race, okay? So let's go. Ha, low, ha, low, ha, low. If you need that challenge, you're going to look at me and you're going to beat me. Let's go. High punch, low punch. Tire up that arm. Work those squats. Get them in here. Let's go. Woo. And then eight. Woo. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Fast feet. Cool. I'm going to move into a jumping one. But if that last one puts you back a bit, feel free to take a longer time to recover. Okay? And again, you never have to jump. You can either stay facing this way. Or you can use that front leg to kind of swivel. Four, three, two, one. 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 Four, three, two. I'm going to hang out on this side. Cool, we switch sides. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and recover. Abs tight, bob and weave, bob and weave. Good, okay, so with your back, we're not arching our back foot on this one, okay? So, when your legs feel well, you get kinda deep with the knees, and that's where we bend, and then we tip at the hip. But if you're not having it, you just stay upright, okay? Bob and weave needs to come from the core, so we have tight abs, and we extend, extend. Bob and we, we breathe right now. We are coming to a close. We got just a little bit more to do today. Almost done. Finish strong if you can with me. Give it your all to the end. And then we'll start cooling down and stretching out. You're doing great. <clears throat> okay. Looking good. Awesome. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go back to quick feet. Here I am at quick feet. And again, you got something more left in the tank. Get those knees up higher, move faster. I'm going to get my arm up high. Now, it's all about keeping the elbow up on this one. And I'm going to go speed back. So you got that little teardrop bag in front of you. And we want to make it move. So I'm circling my arm fast. And I got to lock up at the wrist, okay? I don't want to have a flimsy wrist on the shaking about. 
Okay, other arm is in guard. And here I am. I got my speed bag going. I got my speed bag going. Go runner feet. Make a move. Woo, tie around that arm. Fantastic. Okay, so I'm gonna go four seconds here and then I just open up and I go four seconds wide. You ready? Keep that elbow up. We wanna work that tricep, work that shoulder, work that back. Let's go for four, three, two, one, four, three, two, one, four, three, two, one, four, three, two, one, four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one. Tighten that arm. Four, three, two, one, four, three, two, one, and four, three, two, and one. Awesome job, bring it down, cool. Okay, so now I'm gonna kind of point my front toe a little bit more forward because I'm gonna do this elbow down. I wanna just get the stretch of it first. So just join me a few, stretching out, going for your range of motion in your shoulder, especially if you have an injury, you're gonna be a little bit more cautious on this one, okay? So what's gonna happen here is my hands on guard and I'm gonna come down quickly for an elbow strike elbow and I'm kind of coming down into this lunge. My front knee bends, the back leg, hip joins on that dip. How? How? Strike. How? 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 I'm going to add in my front knee. How? Knee up. 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 How? Knee up, hollow, knee up, hollow, knee up, hollow, knee up. Fantastic job. Two more. Good. I'm going to go knee up only. Knee up, knee up, knee up. So my arms are going diagonal from my foot. I pull that knee in. I'm going to give a breath out. I'm going to go tight out. Good. Come on. Can you add a jump? Try it. Let's go. Up, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, one, okay, same leg, same leg, hands and guard. I'm gonna go ahead, I need a tip under the supportive leg. If you have this, well, your low back is healthy and well, you can do the whole thing um, with me. If not, you're gonna keep it to low kick. So I'm gonna go low kick, maybe it's a tap down or maybe you don't even wanna tap, you just gonna wanna go right into your high. High kick, low kick, high kick. I'm gonna do a tap today, okay? But you don't have to. Let me show it without a tap. Low, high. Low, high. Low, high. I guess I can do it still. Low, high. But again, you could tap down in between. I would go tap, low, tap, high. Up to you. Low, high. Low, high. Low, high. Low, high. And one more. Low, high. Squat down. Up. Squat down. Squat down. Ha. Now I'm doing this really quick transition of the hip and rotating it more towards forward. And then I'm able to get off my roundhouse kick. Okay, if I didn't move my hip fast, then it's just gonna be a side kick. It's not gonna be quite as powerful. So it's up to you. Okay? Low. Ha. Low. Ha. Low. Ha. Low. Ha. Low. Ha, and one more. Fantastic job. Woo -woo. Fast feet. Fast arms. You want to move faster, you can. You want to move slower, recover, you can do that too. We got to even this out before we start cooling down. Okay. You know where this is going. If you don't like jumps, you know how to modify. Four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, and one. I'm gonna hang out here. I'm gonna go right now into, oh, it's feet up, knees up. If you're tired again, you can march it out. Arm up, speed bag, you can march. I'm kind of recovering, and I'm gonna go fast feet when I'm ready. Get that elbow up high. Keep it up. Speed bag. Good. Move it, move it. Lock up that wrist, no flimsy wrist. Keep that elbow up. Tiger out that arm. Strong tricep, strong shoulder, strong upper back. Good job, good job. 
We go right here for four, three, two, one, 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 and four, three, two, and one. I'm gonna point that toe a little bit forward. I'm gonna start to loosen up that arm. Join with me. Now, when you're ready, it's elbow down, elbow down, fast, and a strike. Hello. 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 I come into a lunge. Hello. 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 So I'm trying to go for a really good range of motion, come down strong with that elbow, and fast. Fast. Strike. 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 You would have to be so fast if you actually want to pull this off because it's pretty telegraphed if you're not. Okay, cool. I'm gonna do one more, let's start adding in. Knee, elbow, knee, elbow, knee, elbow, knee. I like this one for the core stuff going on. We've got this transverse abdominus movement. We rotate down with that elbow, then we rotate knee going opposite shoulder. So do it with me. Hell, knee up, hell, knee up, hell, knee up, hell, knee up. Elbow, knee up, elbow, knee up, elbow, knee up, elbow, knee up, and good stuff. Okay, good. I'm gonna go knee up only. I'm gonna bring it alternating. You can go fast. I'm gonna move into a jump. I'm gonna do eight with a jump. Hut, set, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job, good job. Recover for a second. I could go ahead and shift the body weight or I could go into that boxer shuffle. Good. Fantastic job. Okay, we're coming to a close. I'm gonna go ahead and do my kicks from here. I know I'm missing one. I'm gonna get, I'll get it though. It'll come to me. I'm gonna go low kick, tip, high kick. Low kick, tip, high kick. And again, I could touch down. I could do two low, or I just keep it low actually. Or I can go low high and kind of work that balance. So it's up to you, ready? Low high, low high, low high, low high, low high. And again, tap down in between if you need to. It's gonna help your back a bit. Low high, low high, low high, low high. Low, high, and low, high. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna reach down, big old duck, come up, rotate that hip, and get off my roundhouse kick. Duck it, hip, move it, and get that kick. Ha, down, ha, down, ha, down, ha, down, ha, down, ha, down. You can move faster than I am, feel free. Good job, good job. We finished strong. An eight, Woo. seven, six, five, four, three, two, and good stuff. Awesome. Bring it forward, march it out, breathe. I'm gonna get right into a cool down so we have time for a stretch. So I'm just gonna go really fast. You need to work the breathing. Stretch out your knees. Maybe they're just consecutive up. Maybe it's a hug in, but you need to breathe. Bring down your heart rate. Nice deep breaths. Take this to a little kick extension. Extend those legs. Core stays tight. Good job. And in four, three, two, kick it back. Quad stretch. Good breath. And in four, three, two, work your breathing. Alternating swing kick. Good breath. And in four, three, two, one. Arm swing. Swing it back. Four, three, two, one. Lift it up and over. Give me a little windmill. 
Abs tight, reach across. Hands on the hips, give me a few circles. Four, three, two, and switch directions. It's more like four seconds. Don't worry about getting four in, you're going really fast. Awesome job, okay. Find your mat, bring it on out. We need to get right into a stretch because we just worked that body out nice and hard today. I am proud of you guys, but we need to stretch it out. Pull your mat out. I need you to lay down flat on your mat, on your back, hands over head, long body, long spine, and we're gonna stretch out that low back. We're gonna stretch out the arms. We're gonna stretch out the abdomen and work some deep breaths. Right? Give me two deep breaths in and out. Okay, one more deep breath in. Release it, hug your knees in. Awesome. So now I'm hugging in tight with the knees, and then I'm gonna loosen up my tight grip, and I'm gonna draw little circles with my knees. And that's gonna make my low back kind of trace this oval shape on the mat. Loosening up that low back, which feels great. Continue to breathe. And then I'm gonna switch directions of that circle. And I know I'm going a little fast today, so I wanna get the complete stretch in in the amount of time. So if you need to take longer somewhere, feel free. I'm gonna take my palms, I'm gonna put them down. My knees are a tabletop and they drop from side to side. And we'll go ahead and rotate the sides a couple times. So I get two on it, in on each side, but feel free to go more, feel free to hold it instead. You got a lot of liberty here with what feels best for your body at this point. Okay, my knees are bent. I'm gonna lift one leg up at a time. You can use a stretching strap, you can use your hands. You can keep that bottom knee bent. Continue to breathe. So I'm stretching out my hamstring, getting out the back of the leg. Continue deep breath. And now I'm gonna go ahead and point my toe to my face. The toe is pointed towards the face. I continue the deep breath. And I'm gonna lift my toe up to the ceiling. I'm gonna go ahead and draw big circles for my ankle joint. And I don't wanna skip on this one, this is important. Switch directions, big, big circle. Awesome, okay. So now my opposite arm grabs the leg, same side arm down to the ground. That leg goes diagonal across my body. It stretches as straight as I can. And then I point the toe down and I breathe. <sighs> Slow release. I'm gonna square my hips up with my shoulders again. From here, I'm gonna um, switch legs up. Again, bottom knee can be bent, stretching strap or hands. You could also straighten the back leg, starting with the hamstring, getting that stretch for the back of the leg. Continue deep breathing. <clears throat> Point the toe at the face. Toe up. And circle for the ankle. Switch direction of your circle. Opposite arm grabs that leg. Diagonal across the body. Same side arm down to the ground. The leg goes across the body. I stretch it straight and then I point the toe down and I breathe. I'm gonna release that. I'm gonna go ankle to my thigh. I can sit up to it or I can hug it in. So now you're gonna breathe nice deep breaths as we hug in, feeling the opening of the hip, feeling that glute stretch, and I'm gonna switch it up other side. Okay, it looks kind of like the number four and then I hug it in. Great, I'm gonna slowly roll my body to up I'm gonna extend my legs out. And then from here, I'm gonna reach for something like my calves, my ankles, whatever feels like good stretch in the back of the limbs and the low back. Listen to your body, do not overstretch. From here, I'm gonna go soles of the feet together and then I'm gonna tip forward my hip. This is kind of like you could stay here. Next step, you could tip forward, okay? And then even taking a little bit farther. If you want to, we can start extending the legs out, which I'll show now, you don't have to do. I'm gonna extend my legs out. I'm gonna walk my hands out a bit and then put a bend in the elbow. And again, when you bend in the elbow, you may not be able to come that low to the ground. 
Just do what you can do, continue to breathe. Slowly come up. I'm gonna go ahead and go stomach side down. You're lift up to cobra straight arms or you can go on to forearms. From here, I'm gonna go into child's pose. <clears throat> I'm gonna go all four core, and then I take a step forward with one leg, and then I drive the back hip flexor forward. So really drive that hip flexor forward. You can modify this one, but again, the modification is gonna make it harder on this one, so you don't have to. There's no need to modify if you're getting a good enough stretch if you're already challenged. I'm gonna go ahead and switch legs back to all four core. Then I take a step forward with the other leg and I drive that hip flexor forward. Once my hip flexor is forward, you can, if this is way too easy, feel free to modify. If it feels like, yes, this feels great, then please stay there. Continue to breathe. Nice deep breaths. How are we on time? Okay, slowly now, make your way to up. Don't get tripped up on your mat. We come up to the top, my shoulders roll back and down. I keep my shoulders down, I lift an arm up, the other arm goes to the ankle. <sighs> Slowly up, arm up, down to the ankle. <sighs> Slowly up, fingertips to the ears, open up. I am in spinal extension, meaning there is a little bit of a lean back. I'm gonna extend my arms. Continue deep breathing, do not hold your breath here. Now I'm gonna hug it forward and drop, rounding the spine, spinal flexion. Now I'm in spinal flexion, I'm gonna right that, I'm gonna go all the way back up to neutral, nice and slow, stacking my vertebrae one at a time. Once I get up to the top, my shoulders roll back and down, and then I'm gonna pull one arm across the body. Hold it here for four, three, two, and one, switch it. And in four, three, two, and one. Elbow up. Switch it up. And good. From here, my shoulders are back and down. Tip that chin on that chest, shoulder to shoulder. Keep it low. And happy half day Friday. Aren't we at that now? Which is great for you guys. So hopefully you're done with work by now. Shoulders down and you just go right into your weekend. You have a wonderful rest of the day. I'm looking over my shoulder. Can you catch that? 